In this video, we're going to learn about the print files function of the SolidWorks task scheduler. Uh, the print files task scheduler allows you to print individual files or all files of a specified type within a folder. To get to the print files option, we'll click on print files. Uh, the first area that we can um, go ahead and modify is the task title. Uh, by default, it'll put in print files. We can go ahead and delete this and put in uh, a custom task file if we'd like to. I'll just go ahead and put test in here. The next option, we can go ahead add a file or add a folder. Uh, we'll go ahead add a file from here. Uh, we can now go ahead choose the types of file. We'll select drawing. Go ahead and double click on the drawing to add it in here. Uh, let's say if you add this and you don't want it in, uh, to, to add this to the, the folder. We can just click on that, click the delete button, and it has been deleted. Now let's say if we want to add a folder. We'll click on the add folder, browse down, browse down to the folder that we want, hit OK. Uh, from here, now we can go ahead and actually click on the file name or type, select the drop down arrow, and in the parts, we can select either to do a part, assembly, and drawing, or we can do just a drawing, or just an assembly, or just a part file. We'll leave it at the uh, part, assembly, and drawing. There is also an option to include any subfolders that you may have within the top folder level. Uh, once you have the files or the folders you'd like printed, go to the, to the task schedule uh, for the running mode. We can choose once, daily, weekly, or monthly. We'll leave it at once. You can choose the starting time and the starting date. Uh, we can click on the options button. This will bring up the options for the printer. And then you can click on the advanced button. Uh, here you can go ahead and set up a uh, task working folder, uh, backup type task files are unminimized. I usually just leave this at default. Um, once we have this set up um, and you have all the files and folders that you want to be printed, go ahead and click finish. Now we'll see up here uh, we have the task, uh, the test, uh, we have the date, the time, the status, the computer name, and then the progression. So as you can see it brings up the task. We'll go ahead and start up SOLIDWORKS. It opens up the parts, assemblies, or drawing files. It'll print them, close them, and then once done you'll see very shortly that the status will change from scheduled to complete. Once it's changed to completed, the files have been printed and you are ready to move on to another task if needed.